Hey, Bjorn Strong there. I'm here. Welcome back to RimWorld Science, where today we are going to have a look at surgery success in Alpha 17. Now, I did an episode in Alpha 16 on surgery success chances, and we learned there that in Alpha 16, the quality of a room made no discernible difference, but the skill level made a bit more difference, and the medicine quality was the strongest factor determining success. But that has changed in Alpha 17, so today we'll look at Alpha 17 to see how things have changed. And my strategy will be similar to what I did before. What I've done is for each variable we want to look at, I've done 50 different surgeries, and I've checked the number of successes versus the number of fails. I've actually broken uh, that down by the type of fail, minor, catastrophic, ridiculous, etc. But I won't talk about that here. If you're interested, all of my data is available to link in the description. But notice that the 50 trials per variable means that like a difference of about 10% or so in some result isn't on its own going to be statistically significant. Now, I could do more trials, but I had to put already more than 1,500 pawns through unnecessary surgery. So I better stop and just look at what we can say is going to show up over 50 surgeries. In my first set of surgeries, I looked at organ transplants. So I had Doc here install a bionic eye in subject over here. And I tried it first at skill levels 0, 5, and 10 with all three types of medicine in a, just a normal hospital room. So this graph shows us the results. So the green line is herbal medicine, the blue line is normal medicine, and the purple line is the glitter world medicine. So though at level zero, the glitter world medicine starts out a little bit better than the other two, at level five, that's reversed. And surprisingly, herbal medicine beats out normal medicine you know, throughout the whole thing. But those differences aren't really significant. They're so close together. What is clear is that overall, the choice of medicine didn't make any noticeable difference, the chance of success. But the skill level, as you can see, clearly did. At zero skill, the chance of success hovers right around 50%. At level five, it's around 80%. At level 10, the surgeons just never failed. And for each one of these, this is a little bit better than the medical surgery success chance found the stats, which would put level 10 at 93% instead of 100, level 5 at about 70% instead of around 80, and level 0 at a measly 20%. So next, I looked at the medical facilities themselves. So using normal medicine as a control, I tried again at levels 0, 5, and 10 with a room that had a vitals monitor, a medical bed, or both. So here are the results again on a graph. The blue line shows the control where the room doesn't have any fancy equipment at all. The red line is the vitals monitor only, and the orange line represents both the medical bed only and the medical bed plus the vitals monitor because those two trials had the exact same results. So though the vitals monitor did a little bit better on both trials with the bed, a little bit worse than our control, they're all within that margin of error and suggest that there really isn't a difference significant enough to show up over 50 surgeries between having the quality medical supplies and not. And the last trial here checked the filthiness and the lighting. Our control was a clean lit room with a level five doctor and normal medicine. The other cases had level five doctors with normal medicine, but one was in a filthy lightened room, one was in a dark and clean room, and one is in a dark and filthy room. So here we found that the dark clean trial had a 76% success rate compared to the 82% success rate of the control. But the dark filthy room had a 40% success rate and the filthy light room had only a 56% success rate. So the light may have made a small difference, but the sample size is just too small to be sure. But the filth definitely did make a difference. Now, one final comment before we go on. In Alpha 16, my trials, a significant number of the patients would have died by this point in the episode. But in Alpha 17, not a single one did. There were plenty of failures, but every single failure survived. So organ transplants... Whatever else is going on seem to have a much smaller risk of death in Alpha 17 than they did in Alpha 16. All right, so that's for transplants. But in RimWorld, excising a carcinoma is a significantly more difficult thing to do. So I gave poor patient here a brain tumor and gave Doc the job of cutting it out. Now, the minimum skill level to excise carcinoma in RimWorld is 10, and herbal medicine can't be used. So I tried this with doctors at levels 10, 15, and 20, respectively, using herbal medicine or glitter world medicine. So the results are in this graph here, where blue is normal medicine and red is glitter world. You can see that neither the skill level nor the medicine type made a very powerful difference to success. The success rates hovered between the low 70s and the low 80s, no matter what. 
Now, some of this might have to do with the way surgery success chance scales with level. At very low skill levels, each time you level up, you get a big jump to your surgery success chance. But the better you get, the smaller the boost each level gets you. So it might be that the 6% boost in surgery success chance between level 10 and level 20 is just too small to make any noticeable difference in a mere 50 carcinoma excisings. So there's another issue here too. Unlike with the transplants, with carcinoma, there were more deaths that ended in failure. So the graph here shows the percentage of fails that ended in deaths. Now, it's hard to read any patterns in here that are significant, and it was a really small sample size for what is being calculated. But it does seem notable that for the Glitter World Medicine, the trend went steadily down as the skill level went up. So maybe that's because exercising carcinoma, higher skill levels, does more determine whether or not a fail ended in death than whether or not it will succeed in the first place. At any rate, it looks like though for this question more research is going to be needed. I also tried exercising carcinoma in a room with a medical bed and a vitals monitor with normal medicine and a level 10 doctor. That had a 60% success rate, a good 20% below our control. So that either means that the vitals monitor or medical bed are making things worse or at least this is a big margin of error and they aren't making it any better at a minimum. I also tested the effect of lighting and dirt here as well, again with the control of level 10 doctors and normal medicine. So the filthy and filthy dark trials had 42 and 44% success rates respectively, while the dark and clean room did only slightly better than the control at an 84% success rate. All right, so that's the data. What does it all tell us? Well, first and foremost, the most important factor in surgery at Alpha 17 seems to be the skill level of the doctor, although that seems to have a greater effect in transplants than in carcinomas. The other factor that matters is cleanliness. A dirty hospital will definitely have a lower success rate than a clean one. However, the light level of a hospital, the presence of fancy medical equipment, and in a stunning reversal from Alpha 17, the type of medicine seem to have no discernible effect on surgery success. So if you want to have your surgeries go well, the best thing you can do is level up your doctor and clean up your hospital. Now, a final warning, I did not look at the effect of the health of the doctor on surgery success. So we know that bad health will affect upon surgery success chance stats. So what I've assumed here so far is that this is going to scale in the usual way. If a healthy doctor who's level 5 has an 80% chance of success for a given surgery, then a level 5 doctor with a medical problem that halves a surgery success chance will have about a 40% chance for success in this case. But I haven't tested that, so you know, proceed with caution if your doctors are not healthy. So there you have it. Level up your doctors and clean your hospital. Nothing else makes a big difference. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see us do RimWorld Science on next. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.